got some of the best entertainment that's ever existed. I, I never took the time to read the books because I can't read, and reading is for nerds. And I ain't no nerd, you bastards. But the, the animations from the 60s and 70s were ultimately responsible for me loving the series. Visually, for the time, the animation was fantastic. Granted, the last time I watched it, I felt like each of my eyes were having independent seizures from how shitty it is by comparison to today's better works. Hmm. Now, now when Peter Jackson got his hands on it, I thought to myself, The King Kong Guy? Hmm. That was the best sleep I ever had during a movie, but what, is that what I'm looking for in Lord of the Rings? Hmm. Luckily, I was wrong about how terrible I thought it was going to be. The first time I watched The Fellowship of the Ring, I had gotten super trashed off wild turkey and snaps, thinking it was the only way I could enjoy it. Despite having been kicked out of the theater an hour and a half in for puking on the people in front of me, I enjoyed it enough to go back and finish it. The visuals were stunning. I felt like I was actually in the Shire. I've always wanted to go visit that little hobbit village they built. Hmm. I've also always wanted to boat in that Lady Gladriel. Hmm. Anyway, I watched the first one 32 times in theaters, and it was ultimately responsible for my divorce from my ninth wife and the bankruptcy. Well, the bankruptcy may have been due to the harassment suit I got hit with by the cast of the movie for accusing Sam and Frodo of being part of the gay agenda for over two years, but that's neither here nor there. When The Two Towers released, I had booked an entire auditorium on opening night and made hundreds of people miss the midnight debut. They weren't happy when I came out to the theater to tell them plot twists every 20 minutes either, but screw them! Oh, the battle for Helm's Deep was one of the greatest war sequences I've ever seen in a movie. Hmm. I tried to convince my Civil War reenactment group to switch to doing reenactments of it, but they're just a bunch of old bastards that didn't want to have any fun. I guess it's... I can't believe those little shits kicked me out of the group for showing up dressed like a Lothlorien elf for the Battle of Gettysburg. Those bastards have no class. Meh. Screw them. Now, The Return of the King was what I considered to be one of the best capstone movies for any franchise ever. I damn near cried when Aragorn told the hobbits that they bow to no one. I would have cried if I weren't still vomiting from watching Denethor eat. Disgusting asshole. The entire movie series was the greatest cinematic experience I've ever had. And now, I hear Amazon is making a series called The Rings of Power. I'll make my prediction now and say it's going to suck big fat dick. They're going to change everyone into gay, genderless blobs of garbage. They're going to ruin the story with talentless actors' shitty writing and too much modern politics to make it worth watching. I feel like they're going to make Sauron have a love affair with his brother that they're going to invent for the sake of diversity. Since Sauron is a giant flaming eye, that's will probably make his love interest represented by a giant stretched out asshole that's representative of how much they like to get pegged at Amazon. They'll tarnish the name just like they have everything else. I'll probably still watch it though, even if it's just to stimulate my gag reflex. I'd say I'm hopeful they won't screw it up, but... That would be a bigger lie than when I told my fifth wife I didn't sell our children to Nike International for a pair of Jordans. Hmm. The only real expectations I have for this new Ring of Power show is that they'll make an evil sickness spread through the land that can only be stopped by getting a Nazgul meat injection in the one sphincter to rule them all. I take back every snide comment I wrote to Elijah Wood and Sean Astin about playing Make the Sausage Disappear while on set. I'd better be pleasantly surprised at how good this show is, or they might find me riding on them at first light of the fifth day with an army of pissed-off nerds. Every time these dong divers mess up a show, 
What, what do you kids call it? Retconning? Oh, I, I think that's right. Every time these dick pimples retcon a show, they just dig their graves deeper. Oh, eventually, they'll have to take a dip in their flaming pool of gender fluid stew and choke on all the severed genitals that went into making this garbage. I know I haven't seen it yet, but it's better to be upset while I'm still alive than to be forced to waste my afterlife haunting these brainless cucks. When I should be haunting the casting couch, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm.